Pastor Pedro Tolosa, he pastors our Spanish church, and when I first met Pastor Pedro Tolosa a number of years ago, I didn't understand anything he was saying. He was learning our, it's got to be a challenge for people coming from different countries and trying to understand us. We know what each other's saying, but they come and they can't understand our language, and we're trying to understand them. So there's a lot of head scratching. When Pastor Tolosa and I met, he was like, huh? He was saying to me, and I was doing the same to him. So I, I didn't understand anything he was saying. To today, I understand most of what he's saying. And so we're, we're moving, and, and, and he's going to share this morning a testimony, what God has done in his body, in his life. And, and Pastor Tolosa, come with us. Now, let's give him a good hand clap. And, and he's going to share God's word today. And I know that you'll be blessed, and your faith will be built up as you hear what God has done in his body. God bless you, my friend. We meet about once a month to get together and, and try to understand each other. We're doing pretty good. Good morning, Church of Jesus Christ. It's, uh, it's very good for me to stay here to adore my, my Lord, my King. With you, we are here people of different countries, different nationalities. We are under, under different flags. I saw different flags in this temple. But we are under just one flag. Our flag is the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Pedro Tolosa. I am from Colombia. He's a door of the Eden. Colombia is in South America. Somebody knows me. I'm preaching here in Canada for six years. When I came to Canada, I immigrated from Colombia because a company, it's a big company in this city, bring us uh, to work in these uh, installations, devices. And today, I have the chance to, to exalt the name of Jesus. It's a good time to give you a testimony. Today is day of testimony. The testimony of the power of God. The power of Jesus Christ working today. Not only in my life, in your life. In the life of each or and every one of here, is here. It's, uh, it's precious. Um, he did a bit of a bit to the prophecy that announced that in front of him every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. The book of, the, of Revelation is a picture I see here today. People of different nations, different countries, adoring the, the name of Jesus Christ. I would like to welcome each and every one of you. Let's adore his name here. In this moment comes to my mind an incident that, that occurred a long time ago when a lot of people is talking, talking the same language in the same place. I'm referring to the book of uh, Genesis. Exactly in this, uh, in this time, I can appreciate an before and an after. Every day we have an before and an after. But our life has an important before and after is when we know Jesus. When you know Jesus, your life was divided in two, before and after Jesus. The time in the history is divided from one special uh, situation. We are in the 2000, what year is 2015? We are 2015, but the years are the 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 time in the humanity is divided for just one uh, situation. Jesus came to the to the land, but what happened? What Jesus came to our life, our life should be divided into two parts, and before and after Jesus. I have a big testimony. Is a testimony of my life. When I 
I, born, I was born in Colombia in a very poor family. I had to live in difficult circumstances. Uh, I, I was involved in, the, in a difficult world, uh, the, the war of the drugs, the drugs, the weapons, the drugs, the, the, the war of the troubles. But uh, in one time, Jesus came to my life and my life was divided into but that is not the only miracle in my life. I have a lot, of, a lot of testimonies, but today I want to talk specific of just one. I told you uh, about um, before and after. Before that Tower of Babel, all the men spoke the same language, and everyone are uh, was united in this, with the same purpose. The purpose was to build a great tower, be found there and before and then after. They have, in that moment, they have a meeting with God. And for that reason, the language were confused in that moment. And for that reason, I'm here, I'm here having some difficulties. Oh, really, it's not easy. I told my pastor, Gary, it's not easy. In my first time talking to a, in a big temple with a lot of people here speaking in a different language than my, lang my original language, I'm not a little nervous. But I am, free. I am, I am good. Just, uh, I need an interpreter today. And I ask my God, please give me an interpreter. I want to talk in the language of the love. For everyone can understand me today. Not in English, not in Spanish, not in Slavic or Chinese language. The language of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit has a message for you today, for the church today. In the New Testament, we find an also a before and an after in the Zacchaeus' life. When Jesus came and entered into his, his house, the change of his life, the, the history of his life changed absolutely. The life of Zacchaeus was changed with the presence of Jesus Christ. My beloved brothers, that the same who's, that, that same Jesus who visited Zacchaeus and did raise Lazarus, that Jesus who healed the woman with the flow of blood, is the same Jesus that is visiting us today. The same Jesus in Jerusalem, the same Jesus in Bethania, is the same Jesus today here. And Jesus come today to visit us and change, change our lives. There are some lives here to need be changed. A lot of lives, a lot of lifestyles could be changed today. And this is the time for the Holy Spirit. When Jesus arrived to the life of one person, this person cannot continue to be the same person. Jesus affects your life 100%. When Jesus changed our life at 99, that's 999%, we need another, another point. To be restored 100%. This is the life who Jesus wants in, in the Christian people, in his people. I want to see the second book of Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17. The Bible says, so that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. And all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. His presence transforms people. His presence transforms families. His presence transforms the associated as the world. The world, the world my beloved brother, is thirsty for love. Thirsty for God, 
and we have the medicine for the world. You are medicine for the world. When you are giving testimony of your lifestyle like Christian, you are healing the world. While you are talking with the people about Jesus Christ, you don't know how thirsty is the person who is behind or beside you. You don't know, but only you know when the Holy Spirit reveals to you. When, the, when you are only one person with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit talk for, you, talk for you. It's like a movie in your mind, in your eyes, in your, in your heart. You can see the people, you can see the problem in the people, but it's only for the Holy Spirit reveal you. The people need that, the world needs a medicine, and we are. The Lord say in, in his word, third book of John, John, third book of John, chapter uh, two, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and that you have healed as well as your soul prospers. In this text, the Lord reminds us that we are prosperous in business, finance, in the family, in the health, and especially in our spiritual life. Everything is covered for, the, for the, uh, the wishes of God. God wants to bless you in everything. All the things in your life, God will uh, want to be prospered. He does not want to remain always as, new, as newborn babies. He wants we grow, we may grow in everything. Look. 252. Uh, last year, I had an accident in, in the company when I, I am working. I'm working in Maple Leaf. I'm driving uh, a Leaf Fork. I'm driving a Leaf Fork. And uh, I have an accident on February 8th. I hit my left knee. And I had to visit the doctor several times to get my surgery. And in that surgery uh, was uh, made on October 29th. From February to November, I don't get any treatment in my, in my knee. But happens in, in the middle of the year, maybe on June, I saw in my right, uh, in my right leg, a little ball in my muscle. I told, I visit my doctor, my family doctor, and the doctor say, okay, don't worry. No, it's, a, it's not a big problem. You take your AC. You can sleep well, no problem. But a couple months ago, a couple months later, the little ball was growing up, growing up. I was, uh, I, I, I really, really know, don't know the, the difference because I worry for my knee. My, I, my principal uh, worry was my knee, my left knee. But in another, le in the, in a, in another leg, the, the little ball was growing up. Uh, in, November, in October last, last year, I saw the doctor again, I did, uh, and I, I told her again, uh, really, really, I worried because the, the little ball is growing very fast, and it's very big. In that, uh, in that moment, the little ball was maybe uh, 10 centimeters big and maybe five di in diameter. It really re was really, really big. In that, in that time, I tell again to the doctor, and she said, she say, really, really, I'm worried because my leg is growing up and another is very different. And she tell me, uh, okay, I, I will send you to the ultras to, get, to take an ultrasound MRI. MRI. And uh, in the same time when I got the surgery in my left knee, that surgery was perfect. In the same time when I was in the injury, a couple of weeks later from my, my surgery, the doctor called me and, and told me, Pastor, uh, Pedro, I need to see you. Please come to my, my clinic. Because I have to tell you, when I arrived to the, to, the, to the doctor room, 
she showed me uh, any papers and say, Pedro, we have troubles. What kind of problems? The troubles. And the, the doctor tell me, you have cancer. You have a big cancer. Oh, it's crazy, it's crazy. Uh, my life, my life is, was, uh, I believe a, diff a difficult time, it was a difficult moment for me. Because nobody, no, nobody wants to get a, a notice like this one. And somebody received a notice, uh, you have cancer, is uh, not easy. Really, really is not easy. God has done great wonders and that reason I am here. Because we cannot fail to say that we have seen and heard with regard to the power of God. Uh, in that moment, I, I, oh, wow, wow it's glory to God. <laughs> praise the Lord, my, my brothers, praise the Lord. Exalted be your name. <laughs> Believe in God when you have health and when you have money, when you have a life take place in normal way without major upheavals, it's really easy. When we don't have troubles, when we, when we don't have uh, difficult circumstances, be believer is, is, is easy. But when the troubles can come to your life, it's very difficult. I have, I have preached for more than 50 year, 15 years, no 50, 50, 50. <laughs> I have preached for more than 15 years about Jesus Lord and his and I pray for I, I prayed for sick God have me, gave me the opportunity of ministering in prisons and in homeless of the Bogota in the streets of Bogota Colombia however when I feel my my path was closed my way was closed in front of me at the same time, I, my life took another direction and loomed large question, compared what this mean. In that moment, I believe my life should be divided again in a before and an after Jesus. Is a, I, I, one question is, why God? Why to me? The question is, God, why to me? As if the other people were really vulnerable and worried of any type of evil, but I don't. I, I believe uh, if I preach your word, if I preach, if I try to, to teach your word, why me? Why me? I, I'm doing uh, the things uh, uh, the best as possible. But why me? There are other people, there are bad people around the world. Why me? And God tell me, because I want to glorify it in you. I choose you for because I want my glory is in your life. Because you have to give the testimony because another people need to know. I am doing miracles today. Like in the Old Testament, like in the past, I made a lot of miracles. I want to be miracles, to make miracles today too. Maybe there are somebody here needing a miracle from God. Maybe you need a new meeting with God. Maybe you are walking for a long time close to God. But it's necessary God lives into your life. Uh, I was with a great void within me, and I don't know how long that time. I didn't have an explanation to what's happening in my life. And then God brought my mind some passages of that scripture. And one of them 
has to do with that king Ezekiel. Ezekiel. It's in the second book of Kings. Those days was Ezekiel sick unto death, and the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amas, came to him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not life. When, doctor, when the doctor tell me, you have cancer, immediately this, passage, this uh, verse came to my life. It's time to, to fix my house, to fix my, my life. I believe no more, no more life. Probably is the time to die. Is a is a sentence when when the people know and notice like uh, you have cancer. It's a sentence. And uh, this this uh, message came to my life. And uh, but Ezekiah made uh, a sincere prayers and power that that he arrived at the care of God, and God answered him so immediately that there was no time to even the prophet came out even the house. I pray to the God on, of the heaven that same prayer with fear and trembling and I heard my cry. In the same time when I was in the, in the front of the doctor, I prayed to God. My, my heart was worried and really, really sad. But my soul and my spirit was connected with the Holy Spirit. And he showed me this, this message in the Bible. I was in the, in the, in the doctor's room, but the, the Bible crossed in, in front to me, and this message was to me. In the same week, it was in November, in that week, I, I had programmed my holidays uh, from Maple Leaf to go to, and visit my family in Colombia. In, in the same time, I got the, the, the news about my cancer, and I, get that, I got that decision to go to Colombia. Anywhere, uh, anyway, I went to Colombia with my family. I told my wife, I told my, my children, and really, really, they were very, very sad. In the first week of, uh, I arrived in Colombia, I went to see the doctor, and immediately I was subjected to a strict medical examination and very thorough treatment. The image, the image of this cancer was very disappointing. Since I, since I, I was a tumor that is larger than 17 centimeters, 17 centimeters in length by 9.5 centimeters in diameter, and a weight for 1,600 grains. Really, really was a big tumor. In six months, it, it grows very, very, uh, was very big. Uh, my, my leg appeared like if two, two legs in one. was very difficult. Uh, my soul, and uh, I'm really, really sad when my family saw, uh, saw me in Colombia, they really, really get a very, get, uh, they are very uh, sad too. On January 5th this year, of this year, was a surgery, orderly priori priority, which that uh, surgery took 2.5 hours in duration. And after his opera this operation, the doctor delivered the results. And with great, great, great admiration, recognized that something special had happened. Because a cancer we, with this, the characteristic of the tumor ha that had been in my body was harmful in great way, in great way. And that, in spite of all this, the surgery was associated. Additional to this, and after many post-operative medical examination, both in Bogota and in Winnipeg, have yielded as a result that has not been needed another extra treatment. This is the miracle of God. <laughs> really, really, I mean, oh, praise the Lord was not easy. God allowed the medicine 
stay around us. The medicine is a, a good tool for, for God. But the miracle is not that take out the cancer. The miracle is that no more extra treatments. Was a big, big and very, very dangerous cancer. He grows very fast and it, it was uh, uh, invading, invading, uh, invading the, the rest of my life. But when the, the cancer was taken out, took out, no more cancer. But the miracle is no more extra treatment, no radiology, no chemotherapy, nothing. Oh, wow. Glory to God. Um, it was not necessary or radiation to radi radiotherapy and much less chemotherapy. Healing has been complete, even for admiration of the doctors and of the medicine. The doctors say, I don't understand what happened in your body because this kind of cancer is really, really is, is very, is dangerous and harmful. In that moment, I became aware in our, in, in my own presence and say that faith does not deny your condition. The faith changes. It's really. God allowed Daniel. Daniel was in the, in the lion's cave. God allowed the people, his people, Israel people, was in, in between the, the sea and the army, the Egyptian army. But in that moment is when Jesus, when God can be the miracle. God is opening the sea now. God, maybe you have a sea in front of you and you have an army behind you. I don't know what is your real situation. I don't know if you are sick, if you are, uh, uh, if your business are not working properly, are not running properly. I don't know what is your real situation. But I'm sure God wants to be a miracle in your life today. You want, you can, and you want, and you get that decision today. My life should be divided today in an after and a before and an after. Maybe you are living a partial Christian life. I don't know. Maybe you are crossing the, 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 a, a broken bridge. I don't know. Maybe you are in the middle of the bridge and the, and the bridge is broken. And you don't know what, what is the, 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 the way you have to go back or go in front. I don't know. But you have to get a decision in Jesus Christ. Maybe you don't have to walk around, uh, throw the, the bridge. Maybe God is, will be sending his angels to move to, a, uh, to the another side. But you have to believe in Jesus. Sometimes we, go, we got the, the tradition to say, I'm Christian. Yes, I am Christian. I'm a believer. But really, really, the believer is proof. It's proven in the proof. In the torment. In the difficult moment. To glorify the name of God, he allowed, my, allowed me to testify in a couple of churches. In, I preached in Bogota after the surgery and testified to my family uh, even no believers, and to many, many people in both, in both countries, in Colombia and here in Canada. I work in Maple Leaf, and we have a lot of, I have a lot of people around me. But nobody in Maple Leaf, uh, uh, the, every, everybody in Maple Leaf knows about what happened with my life. It's my, it's my workplace. If the people in, in my workplace don't know I am Christian, we are lost in my time. I'm lost in my time. With the people around me or my family or my, or my neighbor don't know I am, I am Christian for more than three weeks or I'm lost in my time, I'm lost in my time. And Jesus is asking me, you have to show me. I want to, I want to walk uh, in front of you. But you have to talk, up, to talk about me. This is a good experience for me. God made a full miracle. God has made a full health. My brother, he is faithful 
to his word, he said, I'll, with, I'll be with you until the end of the world. You are not alone. It's like me today. Really, really, I have a lot of trouble when I have meetings with my pastor. In the office, uh, we are, we are, when I are talking uh, in the different meetings, sometimes I, I don't know how can I say, but I'm preaching here today. People, different countries, different nationalities. I don't know why, how I, I am doing. Oh, but the Holy Spirit, I hope the Holy Spirit is talking to you. He's talking to you. He's writing a new history in your heart. A new history. Because we need it. We need it. He also says in his word that after I walk through the valley of, of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. His word says in the book of Deuteronomy, you, Joshua, you have to be strong and courageous because you are going to bring these people to the territory to, that God promised to give their ancestors they shall to make them conquer the territory. God himself will be your guide and will help you and all, all, all day they never forsake. Check out the fear and cowardice. You have to walk. You have to walk like a, a, Apostle Peter. He was in the, in the boat and Jesus told him, told him, Peter, come to me. What did Peter? Was, what is the miracle? Peter was obedient. And Peter walking uh, on the waters. God is asking today and say to you, please come to me. You can walk, you can, you can walk uh, over your difficulties. You can, you can walk over the, your sick. You can over your uh, business problems. You can walk under, uh, above, sorry, above. You can walk above your family problems. You can walk in the, take it, taking the hand of Jesus. Uh, is great and wonderful, he also says in his word. But as it is written, Age can not sing, not hear her, neither have entered into the heart of man, the thing which God can prepare for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto his by, the, he, by his Holy Spirit, because the Spirit searched everything, even the depths of God. God revealed you, your promise through the Holy Spirit. If you are walking together with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit revealed you the purpose of God in your life. God has, uh, God has uh, in, in, in his heart uh, things for you. Things for the good things, no bad things for your life. Only you have to believe in God. That Allah in your life has a before and an after. Today is the day of starting a new story in your life. God wants to rewrite your history as the life of Zacchaeus. God can give you meaning in your life. Just put just put your faith in Jesus a before and after your disease, a before and after your business, in, a before and after in your spiritual life, in your ministry. Come now, come to the altar place, place your lots in the Lord and leave all your anxiety on him because he will take care of it. Really, really is... Oh my God, I, I have a lot of things, but you have to, you have to come to the Spanish church. <laughs> it's more easy for me. <laughs> but I, I believe the Holy Spirit bring today a message in your life. If you are walking with Jesus, you cannot be the same. Your, your life should be, could be transformed. 
Let me pray for, with, with my pastor, Gary, for if somebody here is sick, if somebody has problems, troubles, if somebody has a, a difficult circumstance, let us pray for you. Pastor Gary, I believe you speak a little, you, a little bit English than me. No, you do. Actually, you <laughs> better, better English than I do. Stand yes, with me pray. this morning, and, and we have been praying for this service today and asking for God's favor, God's blessing, God's Holy Spirit to move. And this morning we want to conclude by inviting those that may need healing in their bodies. Pastor Pedro is going to go down the front and be ready to receive people that would like to be prayed for. And I